With a ton of safety, technology, and interior room, the Hyundai Elantra is not just one of the best-selling cars in the US, it is the best-selling sedan in Hyundai's arsenal, according to my sales anyway. And if you wanna know the differences between the least expensive and the most expensive, you have picked the right video. So without further ado, let's talk about the Hyundai Elantra, package by package by package. Let's go. Hyundai calls their entry-level vehicles the SE, so think of it as the standard edition, but although it is the entry-level model, this is definitely not basic. For instance, the SE Elantra brings real 15-inch rims instead of the hubcaps that you'd find on most other standard vehicles. Another great thing is that the four-cylinder in the Elantra has 147 horsepower while also managing to give you an average of 37 miles per gallon. Other aspects that give the Elantra superb value is the safety and technology. Safety-wise, the SE brings automatic emergency braking, blind spot sensors to assist in situational awareness while driving, and lane safety systems to help compensate for any distractions on the road. Speaking on technology, a few things that the Elantra owner will appreciate is the automatic headlights, 8-inch color touchscreen, and wireless connectivity for Apple and Android power devices. Something else that's in abundance in the Elantra is passenger volume, meaning that it is roomier than the Honda Civic and Toyota Corolla. And that's just where the people sit. When you actually talk about cargo volume, pop the trunk and look at the 14.2 cubic feet you have to work with. And if you're wondering how big that actually is, check out this video on the Elantra Hybrid that I did where I am fully inside of the trunk by clicking on the banner or down in the link in the description. As you can see with the Elantra SE, Hyundai loves going beyond the typical bounds of the industry when it comes to standard features. So although you can call the Elantra the entry level, you definitely cannot call it basic. Now, if you like the SC but want a little bit more, it is time to upgrade to the 2023 Elantra SEL. Let's go. Now, although the rims are the biggest difference when it comes to the SEL's exterior, one of the most impactful differences is the way in which the car starts because the SEL Elantra is the first level to bring the remote start smart key. With a few simple pushes of a button, you can either pre-warm your car if you live in a colder climate or pre-cool your car if you live in a hot climate like I do down here in Florida. Oh, and by the way, guys, if you live in Orlando or around Orlando, I want to give you a $500 YouTube discount. Being that I bring so many people to the dealership, my managers give me special discounts. So if you want to take advantage of an extra $500 off, click the link below that says schedule with Miguel. That way I can guarantee that once you get here, you'll be getting me and getting the maximum amount of money off of any car you choose, including these beautiful launchers. But let's get back to the car. Remote key start is fantastic, but remember, Hyundai likes to go beyond, so included with the SEL comes Hyundai's Blue Link application, which is free for three years. Not only does the app allow you to pre-start the car, it also allows you to pre-cool the car to whatever temperature that you like. Beyond that, if you wanna get really fancy, connect it to your Google or Alexa smart home. That way, you can brush your hair while talking to your house to turn on your car. How is that for multitasking? Inside the SEL, you still retain the touchscreen with the wireless Apple and Android capabilities, but now the SEL also brings the dual air conditioning. That means driver and passenger can custom tailor their own air temperatures to really maximize the comfort levels on early morning commutes or just refine coziness levels when you're on long road trips. Due to its budget-friendly nature, but also technological advancements, the SEL is one of the most popular trim levels out there, but, if you want to really immerse yourself in technology, you definitely need to check out the SEL when you add the convenience package. The convenience package is where things really start to get interesting because this is where the Elantra starts to flex. It's high tech and good looks. Not only do you have upgraded rims on the outside, but we all know it's what's on the inside that counts. And if you decide to go with the Elantra convenience, inside is exactly where you're going to want to be. For one, the cruise control gets upgraded to adaptive, meaning that it can automatically increase or decrease speed with the ever-changing traffic conditions. The steering wheel also gets a slight upgrade because now it is wrapped in leather, Plus, if you focus your attention behind the steering wheel, you're gonna notice the double 10 and a quarter inch displays. The speedometer and tachometer get fully digitized, and while shuffling through the drive modes, it is capable of completely transforming into sport mode once it is selected. 
Now the other 10 and a quarter inch screen is more centered in the car and that is your touchscreen user interface that actually doubles as your navigation screen as well. And if you're one of the ones that like it in the video, you're going to love it when you see it in person. Another thing that you're gonna find in the convenience package is the heated seat. So if it's a little chilly outside or if your back is a little achy, you can go ahead and put on those heated seats and have everything melt away. Another first for the convenience package is the inclusion of the wireless device charging. So if you're tired of swapping your one charging cable between your room and your car, there is no more need to worry. The SEL convenience is an amazing package and I really do believe that it includes everything that most people would want in their car. But no matter what, it's still the middle package. So from here, you have to make a choice whether you wanna go down the path of sportiness or go down the path of luxury. Luckily, we are going to do both. So let's go ahead and start with the 2023 Elantra N-Line. The N-Line version of the Elantra combines all the benefits of the SEL convenience with added style and performance. Stylistically, the N-Line is the most aggressive looking of the Elantras thus far, and not only do the wheels get upgraded to this exclusive 18-inch design, but the N-Line also is the first to bring the sporty bumpers front and rear. It's not all just good looks though. Under the hood, the N-Line brings the upgraded turbocharged engine, cranking out 201 horsepower. Actually, take a listen. As cool as the engine is, it's only half the story because the N-Line has another secret. The N-Line is the first Elantra to bring a dual clutch automatic transmission. So not only do you have very fast shifts, but you can actually manipulate them with the paddle shifters inside. And do not worry, if you're the type of person that likes an exciting drive, but do not want to break the bank when it comes to fuel, the Elantra N-Line is perfect because you can still expect the city highway average of 31 miles per gallon. Now, don't think all the customization stops on the outside because when you actually hop on the inside, you also have the Elantra N-Line interior, which really makes it stand apart from not only everything else in the Elantra lineup, but every other compact car in its class. Focusing on the driver area, other upgrades includes the driver's seat itself because for the first time in the Elantra family tree, the M-Line is the first to bring the electric driver's seat. And beyond that, another great thing in showing that Hyundai pays extreme attention to detail, the Elantra N-Line also brings the aluminum pedals as well. Now, upholstery and blacked out interior accents are not the only differences in the M-Line because a small but interesting detail is the location of the drive mode button itself. It is moved to the dash so that way it makes for quicker drive mode changes without having to move your hand too far off of the steering wheel. And to top things off, quite literally, is the addition of a sunroof once you go to the Elantra N-Line. Now, the N-Line trim is an amazing option, but if luxury is more your speed, I highly recommend the Elantra Limited. Now, the Limited is optimized for luxury, so what they did is switch the engine back to that 147 horsepower four-cylinder mentioned before. Now, being that the SEL all the way up through the Limited have a few more features than the SE that gives you about 37 miles per gallon, the SEL and the Limited will give you right about 34 miles per gallon combined city highway just because they weigh a little bit more. Another attempt at optimization is the comfort factor. So gone are the 18 inch rims and back are the 17 inches. So that way it's a little bit smoother of a ride. A few other exterior tells that you're looking at the top end of the Elantra is not only the black chrome accented grille, but you also do get to see the triple beam LED projection headlights. And if you happen to walk around to the back, another great thing is that you also have LED taillights that happen to suspiciously look like the leather H if you happen to stand far back enough. Real slick Hyundai, we'll see what you did there. Inside the car, the space remains unchanged, but if you look at the seats, you can tell that now and finally, the Elantra gets leather trim seats. Along with the safety and the sunroof, you also get the sound because the Limited is the first to bring Bose premium sound system as well. Now, take a moment to look at that rear view camera because not only can you see what's going on behind you, but in low light conditions, if something's a little too close to comfort, you'll also be able to hear that they're there with the reverse parking sensors. Plus with parking collision avoidance assist using those very same sensors, the Elantra will be able to brake for you if somebody suddenly appears behind you while reversing. 
Now at this point, I'm sure most people would agree that the Elantra Limited is very impressive, even right now during the day. But if you ever get the opportunity to drive it at night, that impressiveness will turn into impactfulness with interior ambient lighting. Not only can the ambient lights help set a mood during your drive, but the fact that ambient lights are even an option really helps the Elantra stand apart from all other cars in its category. And so guys, those are some of the differences between all the different Elantra trim levels. And no, I didn't talk about every single little detail of the car because it would take way too long and I'm too fun for that. And if you're one of the people wondering why I didn't do the Elantra N, that's because it's special enough, I need to give it its own video. But guys, if you like these videos, make sure you like, subscribe, and share, and leave me a few comments of what else you'd like to see. So until next time, I'm the Gary Car Guy, and I'll see you soon. Oh, the struggles of filming right next to a major highway. Fun stuff. I am able to when you haven't even been anywhere near any water source, it's, uh, yeah, it's hot.